I'm so worried. It just flew away from me. This is scary. Okay, I'm pressing the minus button now, so it's coming closer. Uh, this is scary. Okay, yesterday's flight didn't go so well. Um, when I first launched the Skydio 2 with the beacon, it felt like it was delusional. It was like trying to avoid things that wasn't there and then it would suddenly, you know, fly backwards and I thought it was going to <laughs> go fly away from me. Okay, so I'm gonna set up the drone. I've downloaded the uh, application on my phone, Skydio 2. That's basically the menu that you will see it goes through a step-by-step -step instruction and I've gone through all that. So the first thing is I need to power up my the drone. Okay, uh, you have to wait until the blue lights turn solid. Looks like it's steady now, so go to Wi-Fi setting and I have to key in the uh, password to connect to the drone, I think. Okay, then go back and then it says connecting calibrating and after it's done all that calibrating and whatnot it's ready to fly it's as simple as that there was a firmware update that you have to download to your phone and then um, update to the drone so that took around 10 minutes to complete so next thing is the uh, beacon setup so just turn the button on and it initializes and I think it would start searching for the GPS let's see what happens next it says connect to vehicle. Okay, so let me plug in the USB-C cable here and then connect it to the drone, see what happens. Looking for Skydio 2. Skydio 2 connected, use USB in use, launch blocked. Okay, so what next? Let's check this out. Okay, so it says connect phone to beacon Wi-Fi. So let's just put this down for a bit, grab our phone and oh okay the phone menu already states connect phone to beacon so look for the beacon the beacon is uh, the beacon has appeared and then just connect to the beacon and connect it so previously i actually already entered the uh wi-fi password for the beacon so it just connects straight away so it's connected to the beacon and now it's trying to calibrate it's uh, the beacon it says getting ready and it's ready to fly and that's uh, as simple as that, this setup. It's just so easy. Okay, that's uh, my Skydio setup and done with the beacon. And it's too hot right now out there. It's about midday and the sun is really bright. So while waiting, I thought I'd talk to you about this ND filters, which uh, I forgot to mention in the previous video. Um, the ND filters actually come with the cinema kit. I mean, you get three. You get the ND8, ND16, and the ND32. And it attaches to the camera lens magnetically. So none of that silly screwing stuff that may mess up your gimbal as well, right? Good job, Skydio. And also the case that's uh, provided also allows it to be stored away magnetically in its uh, position. So, doesn't drop. So, good job, Skydio. So, why did I get the Skydio again? So, I have the uh, Mavic Pro, which I bought four years ago, and it served me really well. Um, you know, I brought it with my travels around the world, um, took a lot of nice cinematic shots um, with the controller, using the controller. So, I wanted to level up, and I wanted to be able to take drone shots of me riding my motorcycle or doing my adventure sport, be it uh, mountain biking or cycling, road, road biking. But um, it didn't live up to the expectation. I had a lot of situations where I took the trouble to stop by the side of the road and made sure it was safe to do a follow me setup. And when all of that was done, you know, launched the Mavic Pro and rode my bike off, wasn't riding fast at all, around 30 kilometers an hour. And it would follow me a bit and then it would just stop. So it was really troublesome because I would have to turn around, ride back and, you know, take out the controller and then get it into position back again to where I wanted it to shoot from. 
and then do the shot again and i found myself doing this two to three times before i finally gave up it, it just didn't work so what i had been waiting for was a drone that would be very easy to just turn on and just fly just like that right no messing around with controllers and cables or connecting to your phone and whatnot and this is it um, you just have to turn on the Skydio 2, launch it, and then it just follows you, just like that, right? So we'll test it out. But you can also get this uh, beacon to fine-tune the position of the drone. The good thing about this beacon is that you can actually use it single-handedly. So my plan is to be able to ride my motorcycle, of course, at a safe speed. And then if I need to, um, I will be able to then make some fine-tuning of the drone position to get the best shot. This morning, I'm going to be testing out Skydio 2. There, somewhere in the park. If you're going to do your first test flight with your Skydio 2 using the drone, make sure you're doing it in a very open space with no electrical wires. Okay, so I got my drone uh, here right now. Take off the uh, gimbal lock and then attach the battery, which goes magnetically. And then here's the Skydio beacon. For today's flight, um, I'm going to try to first take off uh, from the ground, but also take off and launch from my hand. Let's see how that works. Okay. Okay, turn on the beacon by holding down the Skydio blue button and that's basically it and it's ready to fly starting Skydio 2 and hold 3, 2, 1 and it's off after it launches it's supposed to be able to track me right so right now it's in pause mode um, and it's asking for me to select for motion track. The first test that I want to do is to uh, do a motion track of me jogging around the track. See how it goes. So select that and it's moving backwards. Let's go. So it's supposed to follow me from the back. <laughs> dogs are getting the dogs are getting excited with the drone as well. Okay. So just gonna walk a bit. Pace myself. and so right now it's set to follow me from the rear but maybe it's still trying to figure out uh, my movement where i'm going yeah so you got to be moving before it can tell it can tell um, the direction so now it's following me from the rear okay now I want it to um, follow me from the front. So now it's got me on the front. This is great. So it's pretty easy to fly. And it seems to be avoiding obstacles in its way really well. Like you see here, the goalpost, awesome. All right, so let's come over here. You see that tree over there? Let's see whether it wants to go into the tree. Nope. 
knows that it knows that there's a tree over there come on catch up okay so it caught up with me and uh, let's see now so I've got it following me from the front you can set it to follow me from the side as well and now I'm gonna try the magic one to adjust its uh, position so just hold the blue button and just point where you want it to fly and then also there's a plus minus button it's plus minus button where you can push it away from you to fly further away or come closer minus to fly closer so let's see how doesn't seem to want to fly nearer to me than where it's at right now which is strange okay so it's coming closer coming closer okay so that's about maybe 12 feet away from me right now and it shows shows the uh, some sort of menu there over there okay so we're still in the uh, motion track mode so if, if I want to disable that just press the red button and it's exit that so let's let's try the droney now okay droney mode is supposed to be pressing the skydio blue button twice one two droney mode so that's as easy as it gets After it finishes the drony mode, it'll come back down and towards me. <laughs> come on, come back. It's coming back slowly. Yes. That's pretty good. Um, I think that's pretty much what I want to test today for the tracking. Um, there's actually other tracking modes. Uh, let's see. Where's the other tracking modes? There's actually something called fixed track, where basically it stays in the position that you set it, and it just follows you from whatever position. And then there's also the steering steering mode, where you basically control it uh, and rotate it manually something like that I figured that out later and also there's the orbit mode that it goes around you let's try the orbit mode now orbit mode so it's going around me nicely awesome that worked really well and easy and it tells the speed that it's going around at 40 meters 40 meters per second so press that uh, press the red button to stop it awesome okay let's see it tracking me uh, through the trees and avoiding obstacles Okay, motion track on. So we're gonna run around. So it's supposed to follow me from the front. So it's supposed to follow me from the front now. It's a banana tree. Watch that banana tree. Oh, there's one behind you. And there's some electrical wires. So don't wanna get there. Don't want to get there. Okay, let's walk down the path here. Let's set it to follow me from the rear. It's doing pretty well. <laughs> it's doing pretty well. Oh, you see? 
he's trying to avoid those little branches and he did it really well for my first flight you see those electrical wires I'm not gonna try to fly nearby there it's not a good idea to fly a drone uh, near electrical wires anyway um, whoa okay let's see whether they can let's see whether they can track me down this palm leaves here let's see how it does that I've got the I've got the beacon so it's trying to fly it's trying to track me it's doing really well Awesome, you managed to avoid all those trees just now. Avoiding that basketball. And this is good. So I'm going to try out the side view. So it's tracking me from the side now. And this big tree. Set it to follow me from the rear. Go down this way. Okay. So it's following me from the rear. It's doing pretty well. But the uh, Skydio Beacon battery uh, seems to run out pretty fast. So right now it's at 53% already I've got it in steering mode right now so that's uh, basically flying it manually with the beacon so you have the rotate button so rotating it and let's let's fly it forward I think forward is oh that's that's going up forward is the blue button Okay, that's the forward button with the Skydio blue button. I'm going to rotate it back towards me and I'm going to do a landing. Okay, bring it here, bring it down, bring it down, bring it down. Okay, and so bring it down. Bring it down and hit the red button and hold to land in your hand. Awesome. So the next test is going to be uh, launching the Skydio 2 from my hand. Before that, let me just make sure I wipe the uh, camera lens clean. Because uh, apparently, I think uh, if you have dirt on it and it can't see really well it will actually announce an alert and it won't fly so I've got 39% battery level right now okay starting Skydio 2 hold to fly 3 2 1 it goes forward so it goes forward immediately after it launches from your hand and it turns around and uh, tracks you, tracks the first person it sees. Okay, it says pause, select for motion tracking. With the motion tracking selected, you should see this little eye on the top there that confirms it successfully tracked you. If there's a question mark on top of the eye, that stating that it's ambiguous, it's not really tracking you accurately among other things or among a crowd. So you want to have that eye icon without any question mark.
test actually yesterday. It was just going all over the place and, and I didn't have my camera set up properly to actually get the drone in the shot. It gets quite hot after it's flying. So after my second flight just now, the battery level on the beacon is 24%. So when using the beacon, I think definitely I would need to bring a battery bank to uh, recharge the beacon. The beacon doesn't have a detachable battery that you can charge separately. So you have to plug it into the charger and charge it. My next test is probably going to be the motorcycle tracking test. So um, I've got to find a location that is like a single track, just a normal um, off-road track where I can then test it out and get comfortable with how it handles uh, tracking me on my motorcycle. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching.